were helping Dorothy in the garden. Murray was mowing the lawn. Greg was pruning the roses. Anthony was feeding the plants. And Jeff... <laughs> Jeff was asleep. Wake up, Jeff! They cried. Jeff rubbed his eyes. Well, I wasn't asleep, he said. I was just thinking how quickly weeds grow in a garden. But Anthony didn't stop eating. I want to make sure that all the food is yummy for our tummies. And so Anthony, who loves eating food, continued to eat the food that was prepared for everyone. The excitement of the party and hanging all the decorations made Jeff feel sleepy. I think I'll have a little nap, said Jeff. And so Jeff slept while Anthony continued to eat the party food. Look, said Jeff, here come Henry and Wags, and they've brought a friend with them. There's plenty of tea for everyone, said Dorothy. Come and join us and introduce us to your friend. This is Kylie the kangaroo, explained Henry. And she's very worried because her little Joey has disappeared. I'd been munching some sweet grass, explained Kylie. And I called Joey to hop back in my pouch, but he was nowhere to be seen. And I don't know where he's gone. Don't worry, Kylie, said Greg. You just sit and have some rosy tea with Dorothy and we'll look for him. Come on, everybody. Murray went to the creek. Have you seen Joey? He asked Penny the platypus. Not me, she replied, diving down amongst the reeds. Anthony asked Eden the echidna, who was snuffling the earth. Have you seen Kylie the kangaroo's Joey? Not me, said Eden. I'm looking for some fat ants for my dinner. Jeff called into Wally the Wombat's burrow. Have you seen little Joey? Wally waddled out crossly. No, I haven't, he replied. It's daytime and I'm going back to bed. Anthony found Kevin the koala sitting on a branch chewing some eucalyptus leaves. He didn't stop eating, just shook his head before Anthony could even ask the question. Just then, Wags noticed Kelly the Kookaburra on a high gum tree, laughing and laughing. <laughs> you wouldn't be looking for little Joey by any chance. <laughs> Everyone looked up and there, in the fork of a tall stringy bark, was Joey looking frightened and miserable. How did he get up there? wondered Greg. And how would we get him down? The other Wiggles could not believe their eyes. Most of the food had been eaten. I told you the flies were bad, said Anthony. Flies? I don't think it was the flies, said Greg. I think it was you, Anthony. All those sandwiches, said Jeff. All that fruit salad, said Murray. The rosy biscuits, said Dorothy. Before you could say, Ahoy there, Captain Feathersword, he had climbed the tree, popped little Joey in the bag and slithered down to earth. Everybody cheered. Kylie the kangaroo hugged a baby. What were you thinking of, she cried. Joey jumped back into her pouch. I wanted to see if I could be a tree kangaroo, he said. <laughs> But I don't think I can. Everybody laughed. Come on, said Dorothy. Let's have a fresh pot of rosy tea. 